Hi guys, I'm Gabby Santana. You're here in Mexican Cooking on a Budget, and today I want to share with you the process that I do every time I'm going to go grocery shopping for my family. And let me show you. Let's get started. Okay, guys. So the first thing is you need to know how much you have for budget. I think the first thing is that you need to have a budget. Okay. Now, let me show you mine. So my budget is $130 a week. We put a little more just because we used to do $100 and it was very tight. Anyway, so I have $85 for a week, a week for only food. Then I put this too just because sometimes when my kids used to be younger, we had a budget for clothes, for school supplies, and I will put here how much do I have for each. I don't do that anymore. Um, my kid is 12 years old and he's basically the only one. My daughter is 17 and she works, so she buys her own stuff. So toiletries, I have $15 per week. Uh, sales. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna sh um, tell you a little bit about this later on. We're going to buy groceries together, Sky. So, but I have fifteen dollars. So sales is every time that I see uh, meat on sale, bread, anything that I can keep for longer. That's what I need. And then food storage. I do believe that we need to have food for emergency. So I always have fifteen dollars. So then. Um, um, let me show you. I'm going to skip a few pages that I will, I will share with you in a minute. But first, then I have my meal planning. I think it's so important to have a meal planning. I don't have the days of the week just because it really do, I don't use it that way. Um, I use it depends on my day. So here are my dinners. So I have all my dinners ready. What do we do for dinners is one day of the week we eat a salad. Uh, like we put a bed of lettuce and chicken or meat, whatever. Then two days of the week, we eat meatless, which is my gorditas and my red enchiladas. These two and three actually this week. These have the nopalitos, the cactus. So these three are meatless. And then these two are, um, this is ground beef and this is chicken. So this is, I always do that just because that's the way to save money. We don't eat meat all the time and I don't make meat my main uh, dish, right? Okay, then here on the side, I have my shopping list and this is what I need to buy for the week and here. And so I have home supplies and I always have to put here so I can remember, I only have $15. I like to have this squared for the things that I'm gonna buy for my food storage. If you want to know more about how I organize my food storage, uh, I will leave the link on the description below for my video, but I have $15. And this week, I want to buy things that we use a lot in my family. So it's mayonnaise, ketchup, peanut butter, and tomatoes in a can. Tomatoes in a can, I have to like, I like to have it just because if I'm in a hurry, I can make my, this one, my Mexican fideo soup in like 15 minutes or less if I have a can. So for emergency, I like to have it. So this is what I have for my shopping list and my menu. And so let's go, come with me. We're gonna do grocery shopping and then I will go into more details about this uh, notebook that I create that it has saved us a lot of money. Uh, something else is that event. Every time that I cross here is because I have an event coming soon and what I like to do is buying things in advance so when the event comes, I don't spend $100, $200, $300 because it's a lot of money, right? So I go to my events part. Um, and so it's Thanksgiving dinner. This is our what is coming up. So I put what I want for dinner. We don't know yet desserts and appetizers. And I know extras. We're going to do some games. So I have to do that. But I have here so far what I need for my dinners. And so what I like to do is I like to buy one or two things from here every week um, so I don't feel it that I spend a lot of money at once. You know what I mean? So this is really helpful to have an event that I know uh, that's coming up. I know what is for dinner, 100%. This is what I need. And so I'm going to start buying that. And then this week I need to sit down with my family and see what they want for dessert and appetizers. But I will... I will show you more of detail this, so let's go shopping. Okay guys, so far, so good. I like to have that space so I can do my my calculations. So far I have $55, I and I only need this much. This is for home supplies. 
I already had some of my food storage. I just need the peanut butter um, from another store because we don't like here the one from Walmart. So let's continue. Okay, so I'm done with my groceries. I, it's 83.92. Now I have to come with my home supplies, my wipes to clean bathrooms, laundry soap, and uh, body soap. But I still have, um, I do have still for my laundry detergent, but I wanted to buy more. So I'm gonna see if I can do it back home. This is what I use, the extra. So I'm thinking it's ten dollars. Um, uh, maybe. Okay, so this one, which is this one, um, it's nine ninety eight, and this one is twelve ninety eight. So I still have um, laundry in my house. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy the other two things that I need, and then next week I will buy this, and I will have extras for whatever I need. So that's what we're doing now. Because we love peanut butter. Peanut butter is something that we consume very often in my house. I always like to buy the most healthy option that we have. So the first option was two ninety eight, and the second option was three forty eight. So basically, the fifty two cents kind of extras was it is worth it for me just because it's something that we consume a lot it's only dry peanuts and salt that's it and my kids are used to that so always try to get if you can something healthier check the ingredients every time go to the meat sales section the bakery section the vegetable section something that i always try to have on hand is uh, mushrooms green peppers or red peppers you know the, all the peppers something that you can freeze very very easy um i love all the meats and that's why it's so important to have 15 dollars or more if you can for those sales because those sales that you're buying you're going to be able to use it for later and that's when you save money hey guys this was my okay not that but i have i want to tell you something that i do for that but um this is so let me Okay, so my groceries, my groceries in total was my 80, 84, 93. Then, you know, I have uh, my and my toiletries, toiletries. <laughs> I have, I bought wipes because we needed to clean the bathrooms. We needed some cotton swabs and soap. So for that, let me tell you, I have it here. For that was 10.38. And I have 462 for next week. Because next week I have to buy my laundry soap. That. So here we go. That's it. And then for my sales that I have another $15, I decided this one. HEB had it. So it was a 50% off. This one. And then I got two of this ones for $25. HEB. So one cost me 5 33 with a discount another one 343 this one the small package and the other one 544 okay so those three were my sales my 25 percent sales this one the reason that i bought this one they're chicken they're already seasoned it's a pound and a half so i paid three something for a pound and a half with that which i thought it was good because it's already seasoned i want to try out to make ham homemade ham buying a pound of ham it's around seven dollars and it has a lot of stuff that i don't want it so i saw a video so i want to do that so that's why i decided to buy this one for three bucks so i can give it a try and these two are gonna go in my freezer i got one and two which this will feed my family for like three maybe four days i just make rice or beans and we do tacos and they're so good. You can find this at HEB if you have, if you live in Texas. HEB is only in Texas. Okay, then my food storage. Um, I bought a mayo, two ketchups. We eat a lot of mayo and ketchup, so that's why I bought it. And even though I always use tomatoes, as you can tell, but I like to have 
crushed tomatoes and I like to have these tomatoes just because the flavor and then I can make a very quick meal in 15 minutes my fidel soup this one so these going to my um this going to my food storage that I will show you in a minute and then this is all what we're eating for the week that I'm gonna that I already shared with you the um so this is my groceries guys here it is I like to write it down here so I can control how much I'm buying it. Uh, another thing that I bought at um, HB, it was peanut butter. Oh, I'm sorry, this peanut butter is in my food storage, actually. That's what it was. I was like, wait a minute. This is my food storage as well. And this one, uh, I love this one from HB because it's very clean ingredients. Sorry, it doesn't want it to. It has dry roasted peanuts and Himalaya salt. And that's why we love this one. And it's only 48 cents. I will show you here in a minute. But so this is my food storage. This is my sales. Kroger's has really good deal sales to an HB. Walmart never, but I don't like to buy a Walmart any kind of meat. Like, no. So, and this is the rest. My home supplies right so hello okay is, remember that i told you about my event um hb had the pork loin so so great deal it was a 197 so i paid 15 dollars for this huge one which is going to be perfect because i'm going to open it up i do like a butterfly i think that's what i call so i can fill it up with what we like so remember that i told you that in an event then i go to my events and that's what I'm, in my dinners, I have pork loin, okay? This is in Spanish. But this is pork loin. So every week that I go, I try to buy something from it, okay? Every time I go. So now I can, I can do this one, because I already have it. Ta-da! And I needed to buy it, because 197 it's a really good deal. So, okay, that, that is that. Now, that's why I like to have an event every time. What is it? A birthday party, a dinner with friends, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, you name it. There it is. Now, let me tell you what, what I want to do with this. So, every time, because Halloween was coming, and I didn't want to spend $40, $50, $30, $10, 10 you know, like, at once, since... Um, the last week of September, I was the middle of September. I start buying. When they got it out of Walmart, I start buying one thing at a time, and the most expensive was this one that it was ten dollars. So I did it in two weeks. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna save five dollars and then five dollars. So then now I'm ready for Halloween because we love giving candy away, but I don't like to just go like a few days before and spend 30, 40 dollars that I don't have. But if I do it week by week, so this is what we did. So we're ready for Halloween and I didn't feel that I spent a lot of money. Do you know what I mean? And that's exactly what I'm doing with my 10th Thanksgiving dinner. I'm buying it a little bit at the time so I don't feel that I'm spending a lot of money. So that's why I like to do it this way. Uh, now let me go a little more in detail with this notebook that I love, 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 love. Okay, so there are a few things that I do before I put my groceries away. I know, I'm ready for my Christmas tree. But let me tell you why, let me tell you why. The box that we had it in broke. And so I didn't wanna, I didn't have the money to go and buy a box, you know, cause it was a cardstock box. And so I was like, we need to buy a plastic one. So I'm saving for that. So I told my husband, you know what, let's put it out now. Who cares? It's fine. So that's why we have our groceries there. I mean, our Christmas tree there. We're ready. Anyways, so this is my food storage binder where I have everything in my food storage. And if you want to know more details on how I do my food storage, I'm going to leave here the link for the video and on the description below. So you can kind of see how I rotate it and how I do it. But every time, because every week my goal is to buy a little bit at a time for my food storage, I have to write it down. So I have this. 
with the years that the food expires so I know when to use it. The cans, I give them two more years from their expiration date, yes, because um, they can still go for longer. So very quick, what I do is I check the date and I just write it down on that year. I don't pay attention to the month, only to the year. So this can, I don't know if you can see it, expires in 2026, right? So I'm gonna go to the 2026 and I'm gonna write it down. In the section of my freezer I'm going to add this not this one because I'm gonna use it to make my ham but these two packages yes and my um, pork loin so I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna put pork loin what is today 10 19 right 24 and I have one and I'm gonna check my freezer. Like, I really wanna do this for my freezer, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put, I have leg, leg holders. I bought it this time, and I have two right now. So, and I'm gonna go in my freezer, and I'm gonna put the rest that I have here so I can now, and just have an inventory. So, I think it's so important to have it in one place because some, we're gonna have weeks, months, that they're gonna, we're gonna struggle, but having all these in my freezer is gonna help me to spend less. And so that's why I highly recommend that having a freezer is going to help you so much, so much to save money, because that's the perfect purpose, to get stuff on sale, to use it later. Like the mushrooms, like I have a recipe this week using mushrooms that I already have in my freezer, because I bought them like a 50% off, or in really good deal and I um, prepare them to for the freezer and I can have them there for months and that helps me a lot a lot to stretch my meat or to make meatless recipes that I will leave in the description below go and check them out they're so good okay let me walk you through it so you can kind of get an idea and I love this quote it says it's not your salary that makes you rich is your spending habits by Charles Jaffe, I don't know. Okay, so the first page that we have is our budget. It's so important to have a budget, right? To know how much I can spend. So here I have budget. So my total budget for the every week. And then food. And then I put these two extras because if you still have kids, um, you will have, or we had when my kids were little, already have two Older kids at home, 17 and 12. 17, she buys her own stuff. 12, we still do, but in a different way. So if you have clothes, school supplies, then you have to have a budget for that as well. So that's why then toiletries, home supplies, sales, and food storage. So it's important for you to know. And then the next page is my go-to meals. I think it's so important for us to know what are my go-to meals and have it write it down. Like I know my go-to meals, right? So I put a section for that. And then I have my frugal meals. Those, for those times that I'm on very tight budget, I know that I can make tostadas with beans and potatoes. I know I can make molletes. I know I can make that thing with no pales and carnitas. Remember, I show you that in one of my weekly meal planning. Uh, gorditas, fideo soup, and frijoladas. Like, there's plenty of recipes that I only need two, three ingredients corn tortillas or um, beans, things like that. I love having all my go to meals in one place. So, I have, we have a few pages for that because then you go Pinterest or you see something or somebody share a recipe with you, put it here so you cannot. Now, this page, what is in season? So important for us to know what's on season. So you kind of plan ahead knowing staples, what's a normal price, what's on sale. We have a few pages. Uh, you can buy the PDF or you can buy it like this. Um, yeah, so if you buy a PDF, you can decide how many copies that you want. These will have a few just because my case, I have Aldi, 
I have Walmart, I have HEB, and I have Kroger's. So I have four stores in less than three mile, miles away from my house. Okay, then menu planning. I do not have the days just because I, I don't use, I don't do it exactly that day. So it doesn't matter, but I need to know what's on, on um, what's my menu planning. Now, event, and I think I, I shared a little bit about it. So this week, an example, um, I have an event because I'm starting to buy for Thanksgiving. And I will show you in a minute, okay? Then I have all these for 52 weeks, so for the entire year. And the reason that I like this is because sometimes we don't, we're not inspired and we don't know what else to do. So you can go back to your other weeks and see what you did, what you meal planning and have ideas and you can repeat it, right? Uh, I'm, a big, I'm a big believer of food storage. So that's why we have this. Uh, and then if you go all the way, I put this just so I can kind of quickly go. So here is my events. So I know, and this could be for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, a birthday party, a dinner with friends, whatever it is. But for you to know and have it and see what uh, you need to buy. So I like to buy a little bit at a time every week. And I usually do it for like a month in advance. So that's why here... I had an event because I had my Thanksgiving dinner already and I already bought my pork loin because it was on sale, thank goodness. So I know that's ready for my Thanksgiving and then every week I'm just gonna buy one or two things, depends on my menu planning. And my, mean, my meal planning has to do a lot with, okay, if this week I have, um, so example, like I, I have to plan ahead, right? Okay, I, because we know when birthdays are coming, we know when Christmas, Halloween, all those events that we celebrate are coming. And so I know that Thanksgiving is coming like in five weeks, five and a half. And so I like to already start buying a little by little. And so I know that that event is coming. So my meal planning is gonna be a little cheaper. We might eat more vegetables and less meat so I can have extra money to buy that stuff. So that's what I like to do. So now I now I know that I have my pork loin out of the way. I know I have that already in my freezer, and I can continue. Um, I can continue to buy in the rest, um, and then I just have to sit down with my family and see what desserts they want, what appetizer they want, uh, and just extras. Like we like to have games, so I need to see what games are we doing, and if and if I have anything for that, if we're gonna get prices, what's gonna be, all that stuff. So that's why events is so important for me because I use it a lot. And then the next section that um, we have is your freezer and I have to put all my freezer just because sometimes when you go to the store and this happened to me multiple times and that's why I thought I need everything in one book, right? Um, some things are on sale and I'm like, wait, do I have chicken at home or do I have ground beef at home or do I have, you know? So I like to put it here. So that's what I'm gonna start working on this week to put um, what I have on my freezer. And then the next section that you get is food storage guide. I, I have this food storage guide on my food storage binder, but I wanna have it here too, just because sometimes I'm like, you know what, let me buy something from like um, toiletries. What do we need? So I can come and see um, how many toothpaste I have or razors or uh, shampoos, conditioner, whatever that is, or maybe seasonings or, you know, you're going to catalog whatever you want to do. You can put these like at home supplies or toiletry, toiletries. Then another page, you can put spices, whatever. So you have different um, pages and you can put as many as you want, right? <clears throat> if you buy the PDF, you can do that. So that's why I decided to have everything in one, just to be a little more organized when I go to, um, when I go to the store. And then you have the notes. Sometimes you see a quick, easy recipe, you can write it down or whatever you need to write down, you have it here. and. You can print as many as you want. And let me show you um, uh, the last, if you wanna, this is optional because at the end, let me show you the, the back of the 
notebook, it says, be aware of little expensive expenses. A small leak will ship a great ship. Anyway, you can read it better because maybe I didn't read it right. But, um, so I decided to design this one and I'm loving it. I like it and so it's gonna be for sale. Uh, this week, I will have the PDF and I will have, have it in physical if you want it. Um, on a disclaimer, right? If you're wanting to buy the copy, um, because I want it to be affordable, I want it to be reachable for everybody. Uh, the cost for this week is gonna be $24.99. But in order for me to have it that affordable, is the pages are not the best in the way of like you can kind of see through it. Did you see that? You can see the shopping list, right? On the back. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. And the reason that I said yes like that is just because I didn't want to pay more. If they give me a thicker paper, then it goes all the way to $29.99. And I thought, oh, that's, I don't want it. But I mean, if you guys want it to have a good paper that you don't see through, because look, you can kind of see through, right? But honestly, it doesn't bother me. What I wanted to have it is just to have the notebook with me every week so we can save money and be a little more organized. Um, so that's why. So if you want the book, it's $24.99. And the PDF will be $9.99 for this week. Then will be $12.99. And this one will be $27.99. But, um, so go ahead and do it. I really, I think this can help us a lot. It has helped me a lot. I've been using it for quite a bit and so I print a new one just to come fresh and I wanted to show you. So I hope you liked it. Go and check it out. I will leave the link so you can grab it. Uh, if you're interested, it's gonna be on the link on that description below.